What's the what's the best deal you got out of those guys for the publishing them? Uh, 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 Des, I gave seventy five thousand dollars to. Des, that's, that's why he changed deal? his name. Oh well, because his was the biggest. The biggest. Okay. You know he had more because he was producing on a lot of stuff. So you own rights to his stuff to this day. Prior to whatever he did from Past that day. point, ninety nine. Uh, you own back. everything. Everything ninety nine back. Boom back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. When you get into the music, right, and you and and you start to, uh, well, no, when you get into the fact of, uh, yeah, you running the music side of it, um, dealing with these different things, how do you end up owning different people's rights to music? Like you say, like like now Snoop owns a portion or, or whatever the new Death Row is. How, what do you own and how can you even establish any right in it? Well, <laughs> In 2000, from 98 to 99, 2000, 2001, Reggie was running. I made all the decisions um, as far as people know. Of course, everything I did, I ran by sure. I wouldn't visit that four days a week. Wow. Seven to eight hours a day or, or no four days. And then sitting in there, like me and you talking at a prison table, just talking about stuff and running business, having people come up there, magazine writers, his women, his, his parents, uh, Afeni Shakur, Jimmy Iving, Brian Turner, all of them, just coordinating it. Ran it like the office. How much money was y'all worth at that time? Uh, at that time, not as much as we were, but we How still much? had two pop. Uh, I mean, worth? Yeah, we, we had, had a catalog, the- 100, 150 million. Still at that time. Yeah. Because wow, you had the catalog. Yeah. You see what Dre just sold down there to Chronic and, and you know, Chronic 2001 for He just sold that for 200, 200 million to, today. You see Michael Jackson's stuff about to go for 900 million. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, my point is uh, it was worth it. The, the, but we didn't know about streaming then yet. We yeah. And you got to remember, we're still talking pre streaming. So it'd be hard to say what it was worth. 97, 98, but we know what, what we had. Yeah. And what, you know, because now we free and clear. She was one of the only ones that owned his masters outright. Well, he can be just like, oh, I mean, during my time of running the company, I moved the masters four times from Interscope to Priority to a company called D3 to uh, Koch Entertainment. But how you always talk like this and you make it sound so simple, but how were you educated enough to understand how to even move catalogs and even deal with well, music at that time? I mean, David Kenner was there, even though Shook told me not to talk to him. The only thing let that nigga do was concentrate on getting me out of this motherfucking prison. <laughs> and that's so the, Lord, the attorneys. But I talked to people, and, and it's sure. I would run stuff by him. You know, Mr. Lair be sitting there, or, 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 or Tammy or something like that. And we were just bouncing stuff off each other. And... Um, I mean, because he was more focused then, because that's all he had time to do. Even during the weekdays on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, we on the phone from, you know, from, shit, he got on the phones about 9 o'clock. He had count at, you know, 1 or 2. And, you know, so I was spending, I couldn't even get in the office because I'm on the phone with him making three-way calls and, and, and getting stuff. So, I mean, shit was still really ultimately running this company. Yeah, but you were just pretty much the facilitator. The, the facilitator. Yeah. Um, but as you was dealing with it, you know, you evidently made some right moves if you still own rights to different things and well, you know how to move in that situation. Yeah, that how was just, you we, end up, how do you end up with it? That's what I care Well, because I was somebody he trusts. And, okay. And, 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 and they were broke. You know, artists would come and, and need money or whatever and be like, hey, we need this, we need that, but we ain't really doing them now, but Tupac or a soundtrack here and there or, you know, a compilation album and all of that. If you look at my watch, we only put out about 10 albums and they were gang related, Gridlock, uh, Michelet album, which I don't take no credit for. <laughs> uh, that, that's, you know, Retaliation, Revenge, Get Back, uh, about four Tupac albums. Uh, oh, then Chronic 2001 and two, two Gangsta for Radio and then the DVDs, Two Gangsta for TV. What's, what's, the, what's the best deal you got out of those guys for the publishing them? Uh, 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 Des, I gave $75,000 to. Des, that's, that's why he changed deal? his name. 
Oh, well, because his was the biggest. The biggest. Okay. You know, he had more because he was producing on a lot of stuff. So you own rights to his stuff to this day? Prior to whatever he did from that, that point, 99. Uh, you own back. everything, everything 99 back. Boom, back. Where he, anything he did after that, which wasn't with us, but anywhere else, that's why he changed the company, his name. If you ever look at his publishing, y'all see he changes to one of his daughter's name. Okay. And that's the deal on that. See, niggas don't tell the truth. See, now he's trying to make the statement like, Reggie Ford's my, you know, Snoop, was recently Snoop uh, called him in and said, hey, what's this paperwork that I got? That's how I know they got the paperwork and all that. And uh, Reggie. he goes and say, oh, those niggas over there forging my name. Okay, Daz. Well, make that claim when I make my claim. Because then you're going to have to justify why you got that $75,000 check deposited in your, your account. Wow. Wow. So, so, but, you know, it's unfortunate that, that that's how it happened. But to quite frankly to answer your question, it was because niggas needed money. They needed money. You got something? It's like right now, this house I'm sitting in. If I need some money, white man ain't going to, well, they make say we'll give you a loan. But most people won't say that I'll buy it from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So but now I'm supposed to be the nice guy and they say, oh, here you go. Here's another advance. Oh, nigga, you got something? You want to sell it? Sell it, you know? Mm -hmm. Keep it. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.